Sure, Frank. What's up? Listen, I just got a heads up from one of my buddies at HQ. He said Walter Morgan left for P.O. with tires screeching. I, I need to lay low for a while. If you see him, you haven't seen me, okay? Frank, I'm not sure about this. Holy crap! Morgan's on the premises! I'm not here. Good morning, Mr. Weiss. Good morning, Mr. Morning. I'm looking for Frank. Could you tell me where he is, please? Frank? Frank Coleman? Uh, haven't seen him here. And where is he, if he's not here? He's probably out delivering. Could be anywhere. Hmm. I guess I'll have to be patient then. We received a report that a man with a mustache dressed in a light blue shirt was offering illegal fireworks to people in the postal office parking lot. If that man is Frank, and I'm sure it is, then that's strike three for Mr. Coleman. Please tell him I'm looking for him. Have a good day. Is he gone? Yes, Frank. Holy crap, that was a close call. Thanks so much, Thomas. I guess Frank Coleman's going into hiding for a while. <laughs> Frank, don't you think it's better to just come clean? <laughs> don't worry about it. It'll blow over like always. See you Sunday evening. I guess we'll have to play poker with the curtains closed. Happy Saturday, everyone. Get ready for a pet tea from Joseph. Tea positive for pet tea. Jack, I've been watching that TV series everyone's been raving about. Ah, oh, there you are. Could you bring this box over to the diner? And if they ask, there's no discount. Sure, why not? Thanks, and remember, no discount. Roger that. Another satisfied customer, unless it's Bill's.
There we go. Fancy handwriting on this one. Okay, let's get this to its destination. Yet another heavy package for you, Ben. Let me take that off your hands, Thomas. You know I feel guilty enough as it is. Having you lug around those car parts week in and week out? That's the job, Ben. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heavy packages. Stay these, these couriers, couriers from, from the, the swift, swift completion of their, of their appointed, appointed rounds. rounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, though. If you don't mind me saying, you're getting up there. Ever think of hanging up the old coat and bag? <sighs> Not until recently, but recently? Yeah. Good for you. Think about it some more would be my advice. Son of a gun! Is the engine parts for the news van? Didn't expect them to come in so soon. Uh, I'd better leave you to it, then. Yep. With any luck, that thing will be up and running before the end of the day. I 
Godspeed, my friend. And the same to you, old timer. Please tell me that's a big box full of snack from the general store. Put a discount on what's inside. Is Nancy Carlisle really trying to charge me full price? snacks she'd otherwise have to throw out in a few weeks anyway. That heartless creature! Drives a hard bargain. Oh, miss. But she always manages to drive me up a wall. I'll stop bothering you now. I'll think of something, don't you worry. Thomas. Beth, what on earth are you doing out here? It's freezing. So it is. Uh, I just saw you pull up and I have a request, so I thought I'd quickly pop out here. Sure thing. What can I do you for? It's just one small thing, I promise, and... Well, I suppose you can see what it is. A first gift to the little one, you see, since Christmas in Georgia fell through. It just needs an address, and I'm not sure where to put it. Could I leave this with you so you could make sure it gets where it needs to go? 
I have the information right here on an old envelope. It's the return address in the top corner. Of course, Beth. I can understand that labeling a package like this can seem daunting. Bears will do that to you. <laughs> You're a real gentleman, Thomas. Thank you. I have a stack of returned holiday gifts that need sorting before I close. I've handled many a strange parcel in my day. Not to worry. I'll take care of it. Thank you, Thomas. Truly. I'll get the postage to you later, I promise. Oh, and please tell Emily I have a great idea for this Sunday's girls' night. It's a surprise. Bye now! <laughs> sure. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's us. Your dad is standing right next to me. Hi, uh... Hi! Shouldn't you two be at Moe's right now? <laughs> yeah, we're about to jump in the car, but we wanted to share some exciting news with you. Oh, uh, first things first, though. How was your Christmas? Well, I worked. <laughs> and Tess and I made a Christmas meal you probably won't ever find in a cookbook. But we had a lovely evening. Thanks, Mom. Can I get the exciting news now, please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your dad and I will fly into Florida this September. I want a sweepstakes. Get out of here. Wow, that's so awesome, Mom. Florida in September <laughs> beats the P.O. weather, huh? Oh, sure does. Dad, are you excited as well? I sure am. Aren't you worried about flying there? Last time you came to visit, it took a few hours for that green tinge to leave your face. <laughs> oh, Meredith, don't make it worse than it was. Fine, fine. Maybe he just boozed too much on the plane. Have you checked if the flight includes free cocktails? Best bring your flask, Dad, just in case. If you were here for Christmas, you might have gotten one from Santa. Oh, well. I may not have been there, but at least my boss called to interrupt your dinner. Sorry about that, by the way. Rest assured, he was appropriately ashamed. <sighs> we all make mistakes, Meredith. Some of us just more than others. <laughs> I can't disagree there. Oh, hey, you two shouldn't keep Maureen waiting. <laughs> You're right about that. Your dad will go and get the car warmed up, right, honey? That's my cue. Bye, Em. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Have fun tonight. Thanks for getting the car all toasty for us, honey. You're very welcome, dear. It's my pleasure. We've been doing this for decades now, and I've never stopped looking forward to spending my Saturday evening here with you. I feel the same way, Em. I'm a lucky man to have you. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Or should I just write down pancakes for lovely Emily and a T-bone steak for Big Thomas here? Oh, Maureen, your intuition never ceases to amaze me. It sure is pancake time for me again. Hold your horses, Maureen. I think I might have something else. I'll have pancakes, too. You got it. Be right back, folks. Ashley, it's pancake time! <laughs> this will never get old. But Beth making surprise plans and this Florida trip landing in our lab got me thinking a little bit. If we're getting close to being able to do whatever we feel like doing, does that mean we should stay in P.O. forever? Uh, 
and move closer to Meredith? To the big city? No, 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 no. I need space and fresh air and warmth. That's the nice thing about Florida. And it's not like your arthritis will stop acting up in weather like this. I am looking forward to that Florida trip the more I think about it. It's a perfect opportunity to test the waters. Oh, wasn't it nice the way Meredith reacted to the news? Although I'm sure she's a little envious. <laughs> yeah. When's the last time she had a few days off and left the big smoke? Okay, folks, while Ashley's busy in the kitchen, it's time to fill Moe in on a few details. A little birdie told me you two were off somewhere fancy. <laughs> Maureen, I was planning on telling you and the girls all about it tomorrow evening. But I'm sure you've also heard it's Florida in September. Florida in September. Oh, imagine that. Oh, I'm so happy for you two. Thanks, Maureen. Have you ever been to Florida? Are you offering your ticket to me? Oh, Thomas, that's so nice of you. Nice try, Maureen, nice try. But the only one sitting next to me on that plane is my man. Are you totally sure about that, though? I heard that a certain Walter Morgan will probably not be very lenient with holiday requests from the postal office employees. <laughs> Morgan. His bark is always worse than his bite. If Walter Morgan gets in the way of that, I'll get in his way. I don't think I'm supposed to actually run away, but uh, I'm sure, all right. Oh, that means dinner's almost ready. Be right back, folks. See, things like this, they bother me sometimes. Maureen's a sweetheart, but it's almost impossible to have a private life here. That sure is true. You take the good with the bad, and the bad with the good. I kind of like knowing everyone. I guess you're right about that. Maybe it's the stress of those 60-hour work weeks talking. Oh, Maureen's heading this way again. Let's just enjoy our lovely dinner together, shall we? We shall. Uh, have I already told you that you look wonderful tonight? Look alive, folks! Two plates of the good stuff. Oh, Thomas, my dear, sweet husband. <laughs> 